Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Gateway to the Savage Frontier. We're on the streets of Secomber. Had to leave Muthur behind before we entered town. He didn't want to come this far west and doesn't like going into towns other than Lork. And we should be coming up on Amanitas' house pretty shortly. There we go. And he's pretty good about giving us hints on where we ought to go next. Eric greets you at the door and welcomes you to the house of Avenidas. Actually, he opens the door, looks at you, and groans, but you've come to understand his ways, and you know this means he's glad to see you. Avenidas sits in a study surrounded by brightly colored cats, at least one for every color of the rainbow. Oh, yes, dear me. Oh, yes, he says. I remember what it was I was discussing with you, of course. You were the ones who... It was a recipe I invented for upside-down cake you bake on the ceiling of the oven, wasn't it? No, 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 that's not you at all. Those people carry spatulas, not sores. Oh, yes, I remember, of course. You're the ones upon whom we're all depending to save this entire region from certain destruction at the hands of evil forces. I've been thinking about the problems you face. You have all the statuettes! Now, you must hurry to Escor, find the ancient plaza of the pyramids, and set them on the altar at its center. Leave now, for every moment counts! Amenidas wishes you good fortune on your quest, and even Eric grumbles something about how he hopes everyone in the party gets through this in one piece. You wave goodbye and leave. Okay. So, yeah, but, you know, Sucumber was on the way to Ascor anyway. It's on the way to pretty much every place that's not in the southeast section of the map. Okay, there's the boat rental place. That that we need to go there yet. And this should be an inn and an armory here. And I think that's a warning about nastiness if you continue further east on the river shining that Sucumber is on. Yeah, there's a similar sign at the eastern entrance to the city. Okay. Now, let's go get all our all the cool stuff we found recently identified. And that'll be a good way to use up some of all that money that we picked up recently. Remember that snake skin? That's all the bits that we picked up were all plus one leather armor. We're probably not going to sell stuff here. We can help it. Ooh. Okay. I just want to check real quick. Uh, yep, that's a plus two composite longbow, too. Some really nice stuff. Well, yeah, well, we know that's magical already. We'll just have her equip that. Of course, we had... I think this is just a regular composite longbow. Yeah. Well, of course, we haven't pooled our money yet anyway.
Okay, I'm going to have to look up what exactly those Iun stones do. Hopefully they're not bug the way the ones in Curse of the Azure Bonds were. Oh, they're both Iun stones incandescent blue. So once I figure out what I what they do, I might want to split them up. Oh, Bracer's Armor Class 4. Let's see what happens if we equip them. Oh, yeah. That'll be nice. Okay. Yeah, and the way he gets the same armor class is through a combination of Brace's armor class 6 and a ring of protection. So we're cool. Okay. Well, I, I think we had like over 4,000 platinum, so getting everything I need weeded that down a lot. We still need to find a trading hall, though. Now, I think... Yeah, let's stop at the end here. <coughs> <coughs> I know we could rest in any of the houses in town freely, but I've got the money. Just wanted to have a save point right after I get ev got everything I need. And since the boat isn't going to take us back up to the parts of the map that we need to get to, we are going to have to go overland. Although it shouldn't be as bad out here as it was in the forest. Well, I mean, hobgoblins compared to Etten's, I can deal with that. Actually, let's go this way. I want to stick to the path as much as I can. Now, I think... Yeah, it looks like we might be able to take this path paralleling the river. And that might be Yartar there. I hope. It would be nice. Now, that's a place where the path crosses the river. Uh, it won't let us. Hill Giants. Yeah, see, I didn't want to go east just yet. Yes. The guards appear to recognize you and nod their greetings as you pass through the city gates of Yartar. And there's the tavern, and the armory, and this is the place we want to head to right now. And hopefully we should have plenty of gold and platinum so we can get trained right now. Looks like everybody but our cleric is ready for a promotion. Yeah, and I think after we get done here we'll want to check to see if anybody's really close to another promotion because we've been a long time without a training hall uh... let's have her pay Ooh. Okay, she gets her first level 3 spells. Yeah, and she's ready for promotion as a thief as well. 
and he gets to learn a new spell. Ooh. What do we want? Blink, hold person, visit. Protection from evil, protection from good, protection from normal missiles, or slow. Maybe that. I like Blink too, but at least in most of the gold box games, it seems you can't cast Blink while in camp, so it's not as useful a protective spell as it could be. Yeah, let's just take a real quick look. I'm going to look up the level advancement charts real quick. I have in front of me here. Yeah, he's got a ways to go to level 7. He's a straight fighter. Yeah, so he basically is just within level 7 right now. And... Yeah. She's got a ways to go before making the next promotion. And as a cleric... Yeah, she's basically maxed out. They cap level advancement for clerics at level 6, which kind of stinks. And, ooh, it looks like Kravish. If we were to go into one tavern brawl, he could get another promotion. Okay, let's let him have his bow back. Well, I think he'll equip the bow himself as long as we don't have the mirror equipped. Then... Our magic user thief just made level, yeah, she's got a ways to go before she makes level 6 as a magic user. And as a thief, she's got quite a ways to go before she makes level 7. At least, oh, it looks like... Tomas is at exactly, but of course he's, yeah, his levels are capped at level 6, so he's maxed out now too. It looks like probably if they allowed level advancement, he'd be ready for level 7 after one more battle, but I don't think we're gonna, they're going to let us do that. Okay, that was educational. And we'll go do a little tavern brawl off camera so Kravish can get his next promotion and be on our way in the next episode. See you then.